Hi, here are some hints I wanted to give you on the challenge problem as well as the analyzing Home Depot's financial statements. Let's talk about the challenge problem first. It's on page 398 in your book, and it says that Claus and Company is nearing the end of its fiscal year, and the accounting department has estimated that the current ratio for the year will be 1.5 with estimated current assets of 150,000 and estimated current liabilities of 100 grand they want to increase their current ratio to at least 2.0 by the end of the period it has the following options and it gives you five different options about borrowing and selling and paying off things so it says for each option, calculate the new totals for the current assets and the current liabilities and calculate the new current ratio. So what you would need to do is set it up for each scenario like this. So it's scenario A, B, C, D. Always start with current assets of 150000 and current liabilities of a hundred thousand and then you look at the option and you decide whether or not it's making something go up or down so for instance on the first one it says borrow fifty thousand by signing a short-term note payable so when I sign that I get cash which is a current asset of fifty thousand dollars bringing my current assets now to 200 grand and then my current liabilities also increase because I now have a note payable of 50 grand so that is now 150 and then I would calculate what my current ratio is now which is 200 grand of current assets and divided by current liabilities of 150,000 which gets me 1.33 for my new current ratio so if I'm trying to achieve 2.0 that does not help me so then I'd go to the next scenario and I would do that for each scenario and then I ultimately have to identify which options would achieve the company's goal and so that you're aware well that doesn't help you there are three of them that do and you know that A does not because we just did that one together so it can't be that first option so that's what you need to do on the challenge problem so then for the Home Depot financial statement analysis page 399 are the directions that you can read giving you the background and then it wants you to compute for 2017 and 2016 um, using the financial statements for Home Depot we do not need to do this for Lowe's only Home Depot and there are seven different ratios or calculations that they want you to make so I want to just use real quick the application problem to show you how I want this set up for Home Depot so it says analyzing all this these different scenarios so it gives you all this information in the problems well you're given the financial statements of Home Depot so I don't need this part set up okay what I do need though is the rest of this so I want you to put the seven ratios from page 399 or calculations that they want you to make rate earned on average total assets blah 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 there is no target range for you so you can exclude these two columns then you would need the actual ratio columns this would be 2017 this would be 2016 and then you want to tell me if it is a favorable trend or not you do not need the favorable result because again we cannot calculate it versus our trend okay so do not have the target range columns do not have the favorable result column have the rest
And then down here, I need you to compute and show me how you computed. And I want the words as well. So this is current assets minus current liabilities equals working capital. So type out the words of how you calculate it and then show me 2017, 2016, what the numbers are and what your results are, which is what you'll end up putting back up in this table. Okay, so do that for all seven of your ratios. Once you've done that, then down here at the bottom, if you recall, it always had you explain one of the ratios. What I would like for you to do is for any that had a favorable trend that says no, I want you to explain for me what it is Home Depot could do to improve the trend or to take actions to try to change and make it better. So, so that you know there are three of them that will not have a favorable trend. Three of the seven that you have to do will not have a favorable trend. Other things that I would want you to know for this is that some of these numbers up here are presented in the financial statement already, so you don't have to calculate it. And three of those are just presented, so you don't have to go through and show me calculations. Four of them, however, you do have to calculate, so you have to show me how you did it, like we talked about down here at the bottom. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know via remind, email, text, however works.